Hi guys, I'm back with the dip powder mani. So the colors we're going to be using today are Witchful Thinking and Butternut along with Clear from Color My World Dips. And I will also be using Color My World Dips Odorless Dip Liquids. I have my Color My World Nail Brush to brush off excess dip powder and Color My World's Precision Tool. So um, Witchful Thinking and Butternut were sold in a duo set on Color My World Dips, the uh, shop on Etsy. She releases a duo set every week and you can, they're available for a week and every Friday she releases a new set. And so again, um, shipping with Color My World is very fast as well. And in each order you get three samples of dip powder. Two are actual colors and one is like a um, glitter. So guys, just hang out with me while I do this dip powder application. So I have not introduced myself in a long, long time. Hi guys, my name is Tish. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am glad to have you here. And for those who are not new subscribers, thank you for hanging in there with me during this dip powder, gel polish, DIY process. I appreciate you guys for watching, commenting, and um, clicking that like button, and just hanging out and watching my videos. I am not a nail technician, but I am a nurse who likes to do my nails at home now I know you guys may be like well you're a nurse with all those long fingers I do not um, I haven't done patient care since like 2008 I work in our IT department and I teach software application um, to our clinical staff so anyway so um, if you are new here and you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button it is free no cost to you or no cost to me and I would really appreciate it So I'm just applying two coats of this uh, butternut to those nails. And when I showed my husband my final um, set, he was like, that color is really close to your skin. I was like, I'm around here looking like a looking golden. Uh, I see what he's saying, like it blends in with my skin, but I thought it was a pretty color. Usually I don't like yellows or golds that much. I will wear them um, because I like the color itself, but I don't know if I necessarily like the colors against my skin tone. I think this one was okay, though it did blend in re relatively well. And y'all, these powders applied very nice. And I'm using a soft bristle toothbrush instead of my nail brush. And that's okay um, because I'm using regular dip liquids. And so, um, Witchful Thinking is a very pretty color. Look how pretty that is. All different kinds of glitters in there. You have like the same color of butternut in there. Looks like, I think that's navy glitters in there. And looks like purple or magenta. Uh, glitters all in there you have some bigger pieces along with some smaller pieces really really pretty color so when I'm applying glitter I like to pour over the first layer and then the second layer I um, will lay my finger flat in the cupcake liner and so I used to stay away from chunky glitters because I was afraid of them like I was just like mm. and usually when I did it my application would become bulky but over time I've gotten a little bit better over time with using chunky glitters and so you want to make sure that when you do apply a uh, chunky glitter to the nail that you use some type of tool either your fingernail precision tool toothpick orange wood stick to kind of move them off of the sidewall free edge and the cuticle area of your nail and you always want to encapsulate your glitters in clear as well to protect them during the filing and buffing process because if you don't encapsulate in clear when you file and buff they're going to turn a different color they'll end up turning silver on you As I mentioned earlier, I'm going in with the second coat. And anytime I'm applying the second coat, I will wipe my base brush on a lint-free wipe or paper towel before putting it back in the bottle. I don't want to possibly contaminate my base. And so that's why you see me wiping it there. And so I'm just laying my finger flat in the jar. And I could have even went in with a third coat, but I thought this was 
gorgeous i could do my whole hand with this color i even i might do it um but like i said i have so many dip palettes that i need dip powder colors that i need to use this is just pretty to me pretty 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 and i'm just taking my finger and pressing that flat because you want these glitters to lay as flat as possible because they will stick up and you can i've had glitter cut my um finger because it was sticking up because glitter can be sharp and it can get everywhere as well i used to say glitter is disrespectful because sometimes you use glitter glitter will get every dog on wear and so y'all after i do this second coat i'm going to encapsulate and i think i'm using a pipette um i haven't used my pipettes in quite a while um but i use a pipette or some type of spoon to pour over the um uh clear dip powder because i don't want to get glitter in my clear So I completely forgot because I did this uh, video last week and it's a week later and I'm doing my voiceover. So I'm going in with Color My World's ombre, ombre brushes and I'm going to do a glitter ombre on my thumbnail. So I'm just applying base to part of the nail. Um, or do I go... Oh, I end up applying it to most of the nail. And then I'm just gonna use the ombre brush and pick that up. And I'm just tap, 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 tap. It's getting a lot of the fine glitter on there. I'm then gonna go in, apply a little bit more, um, well, brush off any glitter that did not stick. And then I'm gonna go in with a little, a uh, little bit of, he <laughs> can't get that out a little bit of base and then I'm going to individually place the bigger pieces of glitter on the nail.
after I get the glitter nails and caps laid, I'm going in with a medium bristle toothbrush and brushing off any excess clear that's just sitting on the nail that did not soak into the dip base. I'm then going to go in and apply activator and wait about five minutes to give that activator time to harden the dip powder. And then I will do my fouling and buffing off camera. <laughs> So this is after fouling and buffing. I removed the excess fouling and duff, uh, duffing, <laughs> buffing dust. And I'm going in with Uber Chic, Uber Chic Beauty Stamping Plate. I think this is Hello Fall and Pumpkin Spice or something like that. Um, I'll have it linked in the description below. But um, I'm cleaning my plate off with acetone. And I'm going to apply a pumpkin. And then there is a, I think, Happy November phrase on there that I'm going to stamp on the nail now here's where I should have used sticky base coat on my nail but I didn't so I have some stamping polishes here from Maniology and clear jelly stamper this one is spiced orange and then we have colors uh, 61 this came in a set like a holographic set and um, 60 I'll have all this linked in the description below and so I'm just shaking my um, stamping polishes up because they've been sitting for a while um, and so you just want to mix them up, make sure you get that pigment. And I'm using my stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I'm just uh, placing that on the sticky pad to remove, or rolling it on the sticky pad to remove excess, any lint that may have settled or dust that may be on the stamper head. Um, you can use a lint roller if you don't have a sticky pad. I just, that's what I have. And so I'm going to go in with the orange and the green and I'm going to apply that to the body of the pumpkin so I'm applying the green to the little stem and the orange on the actual pumpkin and I'm going to swipe and place that on the nail now or pick it up with my stamper and place it on the nail so the thing is when I place this on the uh, free edge of my index finger when I went to lift it up it didn't stick and I had to press and hold for a little bit of time and this is sped up and so that's why I, I should apply sticky base coat because it didn't that right side of the pumpkin didn't want to apply all the way it kind of smooched it all up smooshed it but it was it was okay and so now I'm going in with the brown to outline the pumpkin so this is some simple layering um, stamping so you just have instead of having like to stamp three and four times to make a complete image this one you only have to do two so you have to do the um, contents or the inside and now you stamp it on the outside so I thought that was really cute and I like the fact that that orange blended well with the colors in the glitter and so that's all I'm doing for this many and then not for this many for that nail and so I'm going in and applying or stamping happy November I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use on the stamping plate so since it was November I was like let's just go ahead and stamp happy November let's be happy about it once I do that I'm going to go in and apply smudge free top coat to give that time to dry because I will be using regular dip liquids top coat So I did end up taking Happy November off that I stamped in that spiced orange color because it didn't show up as well as I wanted it to. I could have just went over and stamped over it with the brown. That would kind of give it like a kind of 3D effect. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. So I'm stamping Happy November on the nail. And I'm pressing and holding because, again, it took a minute to transfer. And so as I mentioned, I'm going to go in, um, well, I'm cleaning up that excess brown that's on the nail before I go in and apply smudge-free top coat. So it's just a cosmetic Q-tip. I'm just cleaning that off, apply my smudge-free top coat, and then I will wait until that dries. But I do um, use my USB desk fan to dry the smudge-free top coat quicker. I 
After the smudge free top coat dried, I'm going in with Color My World's Activator and Regular Dip Top Coat. And since I am using regular dip liquids, I do wear my respirator um, so that I don't, don't develop dip flu. Um, and so I'm just applying the activator to the glitter nails and then I'll kind of lightly go over the two nails with the nail stamping so that I don't smear anything. Um, and so if you can't use gel liquids or anything like that, this is a great way to incorporate, um, you know, extra this <laughs> to your nails without having to uh, cover up everything in gel polish and so I'm giving that activator a few seconds to dry using the fan to assist with drying and then I'm using a lint free towel and removing any excess activator and I'm not doing it hard and so I'm going in with the top coat first layer three swipes across the length and the width of the nail by the time I get to my pinky I'll wait a few seconds and then I'll go in with the second coat which can be more detailed and you want to cap the free edge of your nail. So guys, here is the finished look. They dry nice and shiny. You want to apply your favorite cuticle oil to rehydrate your nails and your skin. I'm using Madam Glam's Elixir, works well. No complaints about this oil. And so guys, please like this video if you found value and you like the mani that was created. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel, it is free. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.